Hello there. I was recently talking with a bandmate of mine, and he told me about this really neat app called iReal B. And he's running it on his iPad. Basically, it allows you to call up chord charts and play along with them. Um, so you can have a bass, drum, piano, or guitar configuration and play it back. And the track sounded pretty realistic. And you can use it for studying. You can create your own chord charts, uh, share them, whatever. It's really neat. Uh, so you can see that you can download it for uh, any Apple device and actually runs on Mac OS X as well. Um, or you can run it on an Android and get through Google Play or Amazon. Now the trouble is I don't own any of those devices and I don't have a Mac. I'm pretty much um, stuck or <laughs> destined to use Windows at the moment. So um, I'm running Windows 7 and I was curious if there was any way to emulate an Android on my laptop and sure enough there's another really neat app called Bluestacks and if you go to bluestacks.com you can download the current beta. I believe they have intentions to uh, sell this once they get out of uh, beta mode so if you want to get it for free now's the time. Download it, install it and then when you bring up Bluestacks it'll, you'll see it'll make your laptop look like a virtual Android device. And you can install apps just like you would in your Android phone. Now I went ahead and installed iReal B. I bought iReal B from Amazon and I installed it. And for this example, I just call up the chart for blue and green. So the will play it back. I just do a left mouse click on the first bar, click play. It renders and it should give a countdown. got your backtracks. Now, one thing I've noticed in the emulation mode on my PC, it, it seems to be pretty CPU intensive. So you get some playback glitches and things like that and not the best listening experience to be perfectly honest. Um, it probably it could have something to do with my laptop not being powerful enough to handle it. It could be, have something to do with my drive. Uh, I don't have a, um, a solid state drive or anything. So I was trying to come up with some other ways to get the um, backing tracks out of this. And thankfully, iReal B um, also allows you to uh, export um, the tracks to either WAV formats or MIDI. So I tried both, and the WAV seems like it's still, when it hits CPU glitches or CPU um spikes the the audio might drop out so during the rendering so that's an okay way but MIDI just gives you a pure MIDI I haven't done music XML and being that I also put my virtual Android device into the cloud using SkyDrive um, I can simply just click on like MIDI and then do an export and it'll bring me right into my SkyDrive account so I've already done that and then you can see now I brought the MIDI into a Reaper session and the MIDI file exploded very nicely into three separate tracks. I have my piano track, my bass track, and my drum track. Um, for the MIDI, I'm, or sorry, for the piano, I'm just muting that because I'm going to play along. For bass, I use Native Instruments Contact Player with their free upright bass for this example, um, and then I'm using Tune Tracks, Easy Drummer, the Cocktail Kit. I did need to tweak the drum track a little bit to make it sound a little bit better, um, but you know, you're working in MIDI so you can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to show you a little example now how I play along with it in, in, um, in Reaper. get the idea I just figured I'd just play real quick so that's my demonstration um, you can do all kinds of other things um, but I thought it was really neat how I was able to bring the iReal B into the PC environment and do different things let me know if you have any questions or if you 
um, would like any um, instruction on how to do this in your own environment. Thanks a lot.